Okay, so remember I got David in the right guard. He puts a hand on my chest. And I want him to think that his only escape is to push away. So I start pushing my hips. So he starts pushing away, pushing down on me. From there, put, like you're gonna like you're gonna prop up on one, you can do that hip turn. Remember? <coughs> right here is what I'm waiting for. When he props up to try and get out, because this is the escape we teach. Look, he's got a straight, almost straight arm. His weight's going the wrong way. He's actually lifting me up by stepping up at this. He's actually lifting me up. Okay. So what you gotta be able to do is be able to time it. When Mr. David, when Mr. David picks his foot up. I'm gonna use that momentum and lift my hips off the ground too at the same time, really fast. And I'm gonna swing a leg over his head. David picks up, boom, and you just come there. Yes, sir. Make sense? So one more time, watch. It's really easy, yes? I even use a hand. Okay, I help myself out. Because if I just try and go from here, oh, see how awkward that is to get my foot over there? But if I twist his body by pushing his hand, it's even easier to get my foot across. You see that? Less distance traveled. So when I'm here and I have him in the guard, I'm going to pull myself nice and close. I'm going to play my partner. Yes? I'm going to pull him nice and close. I'm going to pull him nice and close until he doesn't look. Sorry, I didn't know I was choking you. I'm going to pull him nice and close. And he's going to keep trying to get out by pushing up. By pushing up. And then I'm just going to let go. He's got to think, oh, he's going to grab me again. So I'm trying to grab him again. He's got to prop up to get away from me. When he props up is when I pop up again. So one more time, the whole thing is this. I'm here. I'm messing around with him. David gets up. Boom. And it's right there. Yes, sir? Make sense?